It's high time we do an episode where I make something not for me, not even for you, but for, well, hold on a second. Let me get him. For this guy right here, good old Mr. Miles. What do you say, Miles? Should we make something for you today? Let's make something for Miles today. What's in that pile? A lot of you, hey bud, a lot of you have been asking for some of this, but for those of you that are new to this channel, this is Miles. Miles is a 12 year old Australian Shepherd. I've had him since he was a little baby puppy. He's my absolute best friend in the whole wide world. Let's pick out a piece of wood and make something for you. You wanna go sniff the yard? You go sniff the yard while I, while I work on something, okay? That's a good boy. Okay, need something a little bit larger today. I feel like this piece right here has just been hanging out waiting to be used. There we go. This, I believe, is a piece of willow wood. Longtime viewers will have seen me make a few things from this exact same tree. This came from a tree in my neighbor's backyard that had died. I've made a few vases from this. I've, I've given them a couple gifts from this tree. Always one of my favorite things to be able to do when, when someone has to cut down a tree they love, to be able to be able to give them something made out of the, that, that tree. As you can see, this is been cut at a bit of an awkward angle. We're gonna have a little bit of work ahead of us. Um, but what I'm thinking here is I'd like to turn this into a dog bowl. Something for our friend Miles to eat his lunches and dinners and whatnots out of. Screw our face plate right here, flip it around onto the lathe, and then we will slowly but surely cut this down. I mean, I could try to like flatten this on with the chainsaw, but that just feels uh, a wee bit dangerous. So this will become the bottom. I'll, I'll turn a little recess. We'll flip this around and uh, carve into the top, the bowl half here. I will cut some of this off. Let me, yeah, this is, I'm gonna draw a rough circle here. This may be too thick for my bandsaw. Okay, this is looking a little less ovally now, so let's just find the center. All right, feeling good about this. Get it mounted up and onto the lathe. I will say this about willow wood. It smells like simultaneously musty and like yeah, like must. Must and bitterness. And now it's time to just begin slowly chipping away the exterior layer of the log until we're left with a mostly clean cylindrical looking piece of wood. You know, nice and round like a round dog bowl, as the old saying goes. Also, we gotta take that whole angled bottom part and cut it down to something nice and flat. Uh, that was also the half that had been sitting out in the dirt in my backyard for, uh, I don't know, a year or two. So it's always super satisfying to watch something kind of rotted and covered in mud carve away into the bright, vibrant wood inside. That never gets old. Okay, now this is looking nice and round like a round dog bowl. Next step is to carve a little recess or a tenon that'll allow me to flip the whole thing around, hold it in a chuck, and give me access to carving the bowl. I'm also going to leave a pretty wide base at the bottom of this. Uh, I just want to make sure the bowl has plenty of ground contact for our boy. Okay, so the bottom's done, which means it's now time to cut the bowl.
I think we're going to have a pretty cool dog bowl on our hands here when we are all said and done. Lovely. So some of you might be saying, Justin, why all this time and effort making a dog bowl of all things? And to you, I say, come on, why not? Like I said at the top of the video, Miles is over 12 years old now. And since I got him as a puppy, that means we've had 12 years of adventures together. He's been by my side through, I mean, just a whole lot, a true constant companion. And now that he's older, he's not able to go on the runs and long hikes we used to take together, but he's still game for getting out and camping and doing some slower paced exploring. So I think I'd like to make this the adventure bowl. Something cool that I made myself that I can pack with us when we hit the road for whatever adventures we have left together. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to share some of those with you all in the future here on this channel. It might be fun for you to keep an eye out for the bowl in some more videos. Anyway, right here I'm just making slow progress carving out the inside of the bowl. Willow is a really soft hardwood, so I'm just trying to avoid tearing out the grain as much as I can. Okay, just off so I can talk to you. Sand it down to 220 grit. Get the wood fibers nice and wet. And what that does is raises the grain of the wood, especially a wood that's nice and soft like willow. Once it dries off, we can then sand it again, knock down that raised grain. It's gonna make the whole thing feel nicer overall. The other real bonus to this is you get a little bit of a sneak preview of how cool this wood is gonna look. Now we'll just wait for the inside to dry. Now it's time to add our oil finish. Let's do it. Nice thin layer of a food safe oil finish here. Going with the walrus oil, using their cutting board oil. Gonna let this cure overnight. It's the next day and uh, this is feeling cured enough to move on to the step two here or step three or what step whatever we're on. Let's bring the speed up a little bit. Feels really nice to the touch, but I am feeling like I wanna throw a second layer on this. Our first coat I applied with a 320 grit sandpaper. So for the second coat, we're gonna step it up to a 400 grit. If you're one of my viewers that enjoys watching this stuff to learn how to woodwork, first of all, my apologies for this being one of the worst channels for that. Slimy, slimy. I'll do all that we can to help protect this bowl from the ongoing wear and tear of a hungry, hungry old man named Miles the dog. Okay. Layer two is applied, but this is looking really cool. Uh, we got some awesome coloring here on the side. Very excited for that final buff. Okay, bye. Okay, it's been about nine hours, which for me is close enough. Again, as always, the longer the cure time, the better. The more coats, the better protection. I am itching to get this done. So let's buff this baby. Let's uh, go get the boy and see what he thinks. What do you think, bud? I think this will be a, a, a fun new way to eat your dinner. Let's go test it out. 
All right, let's take a closer look at this bowl together. And honestly, I'm really happy with how it turned out. The orange color, the willow wood is really warm and nice. And hey, looky here, even a little bit of good buoyancy. Only thing left to do now is let Mr. Miles take it for a test run. And yes, indeed, it is 100% Miles approved. From Miles and me, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time when we find out what's in that pile.